Let's try to understand the aggregation. In the first part of the course, we have understood only the definition of the aggregation. Now we are in a position where we have to understand how business uses this concept of aggregation. Let's say before uh, the sell point came to the market, there was business still running, right? There could be XYZ organization and that XYZ organization is having 50,000, let's say 80,000 and lakhs of employees working for them. And they were also managing those employees, though there was no tool called sell point or any other IM tool so what happened when these tools came into the market before that this was very difficult for this organization to manage the user because they not only have to manage the identity also they have to manage the access what the user will have access to what kind of target so when sale point came to the market this organization need like all these identities should be managed with the help of sell point means whatever the users we have we will give it to the sell point and sell point will manage it and initially we have let's say 20 or 30 people who are dedicatedly working on managing the user we don't need them instead of paying them let's say we are paying uh, twenty thousand dollar for those people yearly and we are having 10 people let's say two lakh dollar we will just implement sell point let's say just only for fifty thousand dollar and we will save a lot of money per year Plus, there is no chance of mistake because it's a, not a human, it's a machine or tool. It's a tool or it's an application. It will not do a mistake. Okay. So, that's why the people started moving towards with their user management and they just want their user should be managed with the help of sell point. So, this is how this aggregation concept came into the picture because the organization already have 50,000 users and we have to pull those users to the sell point so that sell point will manage this. So, this is the day-to-day -day business use case when we start working on broad environment in any organization. You may have a situation and not may, you definitely come across a situation where the organization and your client will come up with variety of source they have. Let's say they have a contractor the contractor they manage and the date of the contractor is placed in some csv file some excel file they just want you should manage those user as well just fetch the data from the excel and manage them they have a let's say database where the real employee or internal employee database is there they have also ldap because these employees are like given some accesses those accesses they are ma managing with the help of some ldap uh, server like like active directory let's say oracle unified directory and so on so these all kind of management they just want to throw on sell point like i am not gonna manage my internal user i am not gonna manage my external user i am not gonna manage the accesses everything you should manage so this is how sell point come into the picture and here the aggregation is required so before understanding and configuring the aggregation over here in this part two of the course first we have to understand there are two types of aggregation the first one which is trusted aggregation or authoritative aggregation and second one is account aggregation in the trusted aggregation the data is coming from a trusted source trusted source and target source what is mean by that this is a source which business decide what could be your trusted source a database let's say could be a trusted source a database could be a target source a feed file could be a trusted source a feed file could be a target source so who decides which file system or database or ldap will be trusted or targeted it's only business or management decides so based on that decision we have to configure our sell point accordingly if it is a trusted source the configuration will be different if it is a target source then the configuration will be different when it is a trusted source when we pull the data from it it called trusted aggregation and we pull the data from a non-authoritative or target source we call it account aggregation okay so i have also mentioned one point when we go to the hands-on you will see when it is trusted aggregation attribute tab is filled and if it is a account aggregation application tab is filled okay application account so we will see that just for a note down just i just mentioned these points